Arizona-UCLA, a matchup that has been the hot topic as it could shake up the Pac-12 standings. But before anything, the Wildcats would have to take on the powerful Bruin offense. And in front of a crowd of over 81,000 at Rose Bowl Stadium, something they are not accustomed to. A rose is beautiful, but it has thorns, and Arizona learned that in Los Angeles. UCLA seemed to score on almost every drive, putting up 66 points by the end of the night. Backfield duo Jonathan Franklin and Brett Hundley led the offense with a combined 450 yards and five touchdowns. <laughs> Arizona would show the wear with multiple fumbles and failure to convert passes in key situations. Arizona did see some daylight in the start of the third with Kadeem Carey's two-yard run, but then things took another turn for the worst. Matt Scott would go down in the third quarter and need help getting up. He would be sent in the tunnel to be checked on as B.J. Denker, would have to fill in. He would have a rough first drive, adding one more to the fumble column. In the fourth quarter, another Wildcat down. This time, linebacker Hank Hobson not able to get up after a play, and he would be taken off the field by the paramedics crew. No update either has been given, except that he has full mortar skills, which is great. We hope only the best for his recovery. Wildcats fall to UCLA 66-10, to looking to make this one a thing of the past. We're not a team that's going to fold. Uh, this, this one night does not define who we are as a team. We are much stronger uh, than what people on the outside may think. The only thing that matters is what everybody in that room, in the locker room, thinks. What Coach Rod tells us, uh, he says, he told us this does not define who we are. We're going to bounce back. We're going to come out swinging next week and uh, go out there and try and get a win. We beat really good teams this year, and... You know, we came in against a really good UCLA team and, you know, we didn't bring it, you know, from the get-go. So, you know, this is what happens in the Pac-12 when you don't come to play. Um, you know, not saying we didn't come to play, it's just we made, a, you know, a ton of mistakes. And, uh, you know, we're obviously very disappointed, but we're only going to get better from here. And, uh, you know, tomorrow we're going to get back after it. Our guys have hung in there before, but today, tonight it was a battle we just... You know, we, we couldn't get any stops. And our offense didn't help because our offense wasn't getting first down. So overall, I mean, there wasn't anything that was good.